All right, everybody, a new trailer for the Owl House just dropped today for the future. Now, I know it's been leaked already, but I haven't seen it because I actually have self-control, unlike some people. And there's quite a lot of stuff in this. There is a lot of stuff in this. So I'm going to kind of break down, kind of go through it. It's like we got pretty much 30 seconds of stuff here. So uh, after we see the events of King's Tide, we see both the Collector and King uh, in this little strange bedroom just out in space, like on like some moon Thing. I'm not sure what it is. Francois is there for some reason, and the collector asks King to read them a bedtime story, which appears to be uh, from this really old book that was like written with not even paper, so it's like super old. And the lighting is like glowing, so it's like it's super old. And it tells like some lore about the collector, which is pretty cool. So before we get into what King is exactly saying, I'm gonna focus on the visuals for right now. We see what appears to be Lilith. I'm pretty sure this is Lilith looking at a puppet hoodie, which is very strange. We then see a transformed boiling aisles. Stars are everywhere, and everything is just, you know, expected of what the collector would imagine this place to look like. You know, the luminary of the stars. So you make the boiling aisles look like this. Then we see what I can only guess is some sort of castle. King's over to the left with Hootie, Porta Hootie, and we see Ida to the right. This is definitely Ida, as you can see, no arm, and she's going somewhat harpy. I think she's about to activate her harpy mode. And all of the coven heads have been transformed into these weird puppet creatures. They all have these glowing eyes, these puppet mouths, and Rain is there too. So Ida's gonna have to face off, not just against Rain, but all of the coven heads, which is going to be quite the battle. I can only guess that Ida is trying to take back King. I mean, that, that just makes sense. She's trying to take back King. The Collector's nowhere to be found here, but I'm guessing the new Coven Heads are pretty much the Collector's personal guard. I can only really assume something like that. And we then see a shot of this little butterfly with the Collector symbol on it, because literally everything's been transformed by the Collector. And it is being crushed by a Goopy Hand, and we all know who that's supposed to be. Uh, but this is going to be pretty interesting, because the Goopy Hand is not just the only type of hand we see. Uh, we see, like, a hand flicking a little moon. I can only assume that's the Collector using their powers. We then see Bump, good old Bump, <laughs> getting hit by this moon blast and transforming into this puppet, which is, I guess, how the Collector is controlling everybody on the island? Uh, looks like this is right outside of Hexide, too, so I'm not sure where the secret base for our characters is supposed to be. But everybody's being transformed to these puppets so they have to obey the collector's will, I'm guessing. Uh, we then get up with the main squad. They meet up back in the Owl House, which there's a bunch of graffiti on here. Uh, my favorite one probably has to be Bad Word. Just straight up Bad Word. There's, there's no Titan, the Emperor's Coven was here, owls are dumb, kiss my grass, and then a hoodie thing. It's just a bunch of silly graffiti. And there's also like the stars everywhere just because of the collector's influence. I'm guessing the closer the characters are to the Titan, the more stars and more messed up the world's gonna be. We'll have to see, but so far the Owl House doesn't look too bad like it's not great but it's definitely not like unfixable and so they, they walk in and it's obviously been a band but then we see this shot of this hand very interesting hand uh, I can only assume that Bellos is trying to get his body back this is a goopy hand it's in the background of like a dark cave this has to be Bellos right is he maybe potentially making a Grimwalker for himself to possess uh, I don't know we'll have to see I'm very curious to see what this body is because this is a surely Bellos, 100% Bellos. Uh, we then see Emily freaking out and Bellos smacking a glyph, which opens up the uh, hidden room inside this cave, which we already saw him kind of heading towards. I can only imagine this is his old cave that he used to hide out in back when he was Philip Wittebane and where he first summoned the collector. I assume he has some plan to use the materials that's in that cave. We then see lots of quick shots. We see one outside in the middle of the day. It seems like uh, the collector is attacking or there's just stuff blowing up. I can only assume. Uh, chaos is happening. We then see uh, the gang meeting up with the Hexide squad, <laughs> and then we actually get uh, Matholomew over here with a fake beard. I, he's like a he's got like a real mustache and like a little beard, like little whiskers. But he's got like some mark. I can only imagine he like tried to make himself look cooler with like a sharpie or something. I don't know. He, he, that's that's very interesting though. I'm not sure what the shading is with his beard, but that's a thing. I guess he's matured a bit. Good for him, I guess. And then this is the creature that we saw in the poster. Uh, this next thing here, if you look closely in the background, we see this like strange creature. I can only imagine this is like the collector's pet or something. And it's like, he's having them attack everybody. And Amity is using her abomination magic to fight back. There's a shot here where something just blows up off to the side. That's not really too important. This shot is really cool though, where it's co the collector and King riding on a star. I swear the collector is literally just freaking Kirby at this point. And they're just heading through the town. 
And you, as you can see, all the townspeople, they're all transformed to these like weird puppet things, which is basically just symbolism. Like they're, they're just the collector's playthings. That's literally all they are. They're literally just the collector's playthings. And pretty much every scene the collector in it, King is right there with them. Like besides that one time earlier when King was alone trying to be rescued by Ida, that was it. The collector and King are like almost all together. We then get a really cool shot of Camila throwing the bat to somebody, I imagine, probably to help defend them. And they're still inside this giant monster. I'm guessing this strange giant monster, again, is just something that helps defend the collector or maybe even Bellos itself? Nah, surely it can't be Bellos. Nah, it can't be Bellos. It is like goopy and weird, so maybe it's something that Bellos created. It's either Bellos's or the collector's. I'm guessing by the design and how goopy it is, it has to be something to do with Bellos. So maybe my collector pet thing is wrong. But it's, it's gotta be something, right? I don't think it's Bellos. I don't think it would be Bellos itself. Maybe it's just something that Bellos made. I don't know, I'm curious to see what this monster's gonna be. And then our final shot is the collector saying, you look fun, wanna play while holding King. And they say that to Ida, who goes full on harpy mode, trying to rescue King. Very cool, very cool trailer. I'm very excited for For the Future. I mean, I already was, I already was, but I am so psyched, so psyched for what For the Future is gonna have. I almost wanna like make some theories, but I also don't feel like it because I feel like some of the magic's been taken away now that the episode's leaked. Again, I still haven't watched it. I'm literally so excited. There's like a lot here, but they literally just teased us just enough, just enough to where we don't exactly know what's going on, but you can get super excited. And those are the best trailers where it's like, you don't know what's really happening, but you can, you know, make some guesses. Like this is just, so hype. This almost feels like a finale episode, and there's still an episode after this, dude? That's so freaking crazy. So, I do want to kind of go over the collector lore, uh, not in this video. I'm going to save that for when For the Future actually comes out, because I feel like it'd be better to cover it there. So yeah, I think that's about all. Let me know what you think about this trailer, because it is so cool. I am so excited for the future. I can't wait to check it out. And it's only like a week away, so not too much longer of a wait, everybody. Not too much longer. All right, I'll see y'all later. Have yourselves a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.